Dialogue 1, what's your name? Excuse me, what's your name? My name is Min. What's yours? I am Mohid. You speak English very well. Thank you. Do you know what time it is? Sure. It's 4.10 p.m. What did you say? I said it's 4.10 p.m. Thank. You're welcome. Dialogue 2. What sports can you play? What sports can you play? I can play tennis, basketball, football, volleyball and badminton. What about you? What sport can you play? I can play baseball, badminton and football. Can you swim? Of course. Can you? No, but my brother can. Dialogue 3, where are you from? Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Did you speak English? A little. Are you English? No, I am American. Where are you from? I'm from California. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Dialogue 4, do you speak English? Excuse me, are you American? No, I am Vietnamese. Do you speak English? A little, but not very well. How long have you been here? I have been here for two months. What do you do for work? I'm a student. How about you? I'm a student too. Dialogue 5, Asking Directions Hi Paris. Hi Jessica. What's up? I'm looking for the airport. Can you tell me how to get there? No, sorry. I don't know. I think I can take the subway to the airport. Do you know where the subway is? Sure, it's over there. Where? I don't see it. Across the street. Oh, I see it now. Thanks. No problem. Do you know if there's a restroom around here? Yes, there's one here. It's in the store. Thank you. Dialogue 6, Buying Some Things Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Give me a pint of beer and a Coke, please. Bitter or larger? Larger, please. Anything else? Two packets of crisps. So, it will dollar twenty comma five altogether. Here you are. Thanks. Dialogue 7, Eggs and Apples Nea went to the supermarket because she needed to buy food and brown eggs. She opened a carton of brown eggs and looked at the eggs. None of them were cracked and broken. All the eggs were okay. She closed the carton. She put the carton of eggs in her shopping cart. She also needed red apples. She looked at a bag of red apples. She looked for dark spots and wormholes in the apples but she didn't see any dark spots or wormholes. Hence, she put the bag of apples in her shopping cart. Dialogue 8, I am hungry. I tan, how are you? I am fine, how are you doing? Okay. What do you want to do? I am hungry. I'd like to eat something. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go to a Vietnamese restaurant. What kind of Vietnamese food do you like? I like rice noodle. Do you like it? No, I don't like it. But I like Bun Bo Q. Dialogue 9, Colors Tom look at the flag. The flag is red, white, and blue. It has 50 white stars. 
The white stars are on a blue square. The flag has six white stripes. It has seven red stripes. All the stripes are horizontal. They are not vertical. The stripes do not go up and down. They go from left to right. Tom loves his flag. It is the flag of his country. It is a pretty flag. No other flag has 50 stars. No other flag has 13 stripes. Dialogue 10, Too Late Malik, would you like to get something to eat with me? Okay. When? At 9 o'clock. 9 in the morning? No, at night. Sorry, that's too late. I usually go to sleep around 9 p.m. Okay, how about 2.30 p.m.? No, that's too early. I'll still be at my school then. How about 6 p.m.? That's fine. Okay, see you then. All right. Bye. Dialogue 11. When do you want to go? Hi Vivek. Hi, Min. Would you like to have lunch with me? Yes. When? Is 11.30 a.m. okay? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Can you say that again, please? I said, 11.30 a.m. Oh, I'm busy then. Could we meet a little later? Okay, how about 12.30 p.m.? Okay, where? How about vegetarian restaurant? Oh, where is that? It's on 6th Street. Okay, I'll meet you there. Dialogue 12. Do you want to drink something? Men, would you like to eat something? No, I am full. Do you want to drink something? Yes, I'd like some coffee. Sorry, I don't have any coffee. That's okay. I'll have a glass of water. A small glass, or a big one? Small please. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Dialogue 13. Thank you, Mom. Hello everyone. Today is important day which was known as Vietnamese Women Day. I love my mom who took care of me when I was very young and when I was sick. She taught me how to read, how to get dressed and how to button my shirt. She also taught me how to tie my shoes and how to brush my teeth. She advised me to be kind to others and to tell the truth. She took me to school on my first day of school and helped me with my homework. She was nice to all my friends and cheered me up. Next year I will graduate from high school and go to college, but you are always in my heart. Thank you all, Mom. Dialogue 14, Choosing a Time to Meet Adam, would you like to have dinner with me? Yes. That would be nice. When do you want to go? Is today okay? Sorry, I can't go today. How about tomorrow night? Okay. What time? Is 8.00 p.m. all right? I think that's too late. Is 6 p.m. okay? Yes, that's good. Where would you like to go? The Australian restaurant on 4th Main Street. Oh, I don't like that restaurant. I don't want to go there. How about the Korean restaurant next to it? Okay, I like that place. Dialogue 15, Ordering Food Hello sir, welcome to the American Garden Restaurant. How many persons do you have? One. Right this way. Please have a seat. Your waitress will be with you in a moment. Hello sir, would you like to order now? Yes please. What would you like to drink? What do you have? We have bottled water, juice, and coke. I'll have a bottle of water please. What would you like to eat? I'll have a tuna fish sandwich, 
a bowl of vegetable soup and a beer cane. Dialogue 16, Do you have enough money? My, what are you going to do today? I'm going shopping. What time are you leaving? I'm going to leave around 4 o'clock. Will you buy a ham sandwich for me at the store? Okay. Do you have enough money? I'm not sure. How much do you have? $20. Do you think that's enough? That's not very much. I think it's okay. I also have two credit cards. Let me give you another $10. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Dialogue 17. How have you been? Hello, Thompson. Hi, Karen. How have you been? Not too good. Why? I'm sick. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's not serious. That's good. How's your wife? She's good. Is she in America now? No, she's not here yet. Where is she? She's in Canada with our kids. I see. I have to go now. Please tell your wife I said hi. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I hope you feel better. Dialogue 18, Try to Sleep Norma went to bed. It was 11 o'clock. She turned out the light. She lay in bed. It was dark and quiet. She couldn't sleep. She closed her eyes. She tried to sleep, but she couldn't. She turned the light back on. She opened her book and started to read her book. It was a good book. She read one page then she read another page. After a while, she felt sleepy. She closed the book. She turned out the light. She closed her eyes. She went straight to sleep. Dialogue 18, Try to Sleep Norma went to bed. It was 11 o'clock. She turned out the light. She lay in bed. It was dark and quiet. She couldn't sleep. She closed her eyes. She tried to sleep, but she couldn't. She turned the light back on. She opened her book and started to read her book. It was a good book. She read one page then she read another page. After a while, she felt sleepy. She closed the book. She turned out the light. She closed her eyes. She went straight to sleep. Dialogue 19, Now or Later? Dan, where are you going? I'm going to the store. I need to buy something. Really? I need to go to the store too. Would you like to come with me? Yeah, let's go together. Would you like to go now or later? Now. What? Now would be better. Okay, let's go. Should we walk? No, it's too far. Let's drive. Dialogue 20, Washing Her Hands They went into the bathroom. She turned on both cold water and hot water. Warm water came out of the faucet. She put her hands under the warm water and rubbed together. She picked up a bar of white soap and rubbed the soap with her hands. She put the soap back. She washed her hands for half a minute then she rinsed her hands with the water. She turned off both the hot water and the cold water. She dried her hands with a towel. Dialogue 20, Washing Her Hands They went into the bathroom. She turned on both cold water and hot water. Warm water came out of the faucet. She put her hands under the warm water and rubbed together. She picked up a bar of white soap and rubbed the soap with her hands. She put the soap back. She washed her hands for half a minute then she rinsed her hands with the water. She turned off both the hot water and the cold water. She dried her hands with a towel. Dialogue 21, Buying T-Shirt Hello sir, may I help you? Yes. Can I see that t-shirt on the top shelf, please? 
Sure. Here it is. How much does it cost? $30. That's too much. How about this one? It's on sale for only $20. I don't like that one. How about the one next to the black gloves? It's very similar to the one you like. That's nice. How much is it? $20. That'll be fine. Is this color okay, or would you like a different color? That blue one's fine. Do you need any more of these t-shirts? Yes. How many do you want? I'll take two more, a red one and a white one. Dialogue 22, asking about a place. Excuse me, I'm looking for the Halloween holiday. Do you know where it is? Sure. It's down this street on the left. Is it far from here? No, it's not far. How far is it? About a mile and a half. How long does it take to get there? About five minutes or so. Is it close to the subway station? Yes, it's very close. The subway station is next to the hotel. You can walk there. Thanks a lot. Dialogue 23, Hobbies What are your hobbies, Gok? Well, I like music and painting. What about you? I like music, too. And I also collect stamps. How interesting. I used to collect coins. Really? Yes, I also collected a lot of other things. Dialogue 24, Healthy Problems Hi, Vine. What seems to be the matter? I've been feeling pretty ill for a few days now. What are your symptoms? I feel chilly, I've got cramps, I keep throwing up, and I feel dizzy and tired. It sounds like you might be a bit dehydrated. Do you feel thirsty most of the day? Yes. I can't seem to drink enough. Have you been drinking plenty of water? No, just soda. Okay. Well, we'll have a nurse take some blood in a few minutes. First, let me feel your pulse. Thanks. Dialogue 25, A Shot in the Arm Lucy went to the doctor. She didn't feel good. The doctor asked, What's the problem? What's the matter? She said she didn't feel right. Do you hurt? Where do you hurt? The doctor asked. She said that she hurt all over. She hurt everywhere and all over her body. The doctor said, You have a big problem. I will fix your problem. The doctor gave Lucy a shot. He gave her a shot in her left arm. Do you feel better now? He asked her. No, she said, now my left arm hurts a lot. Dialogue 26. Drain opener. Mike washed his hands. He washed his hands with soap and water. He brushed his teeth with toothpaste and water. He turned off the water. The sink was full of water. The water did not go down the drain. The water stayed in the sink. What was the matter? Why didn't the water go down the drain? Mike waited and waited. The water didn't go anywhere. It sat in the sink. Mike opened a bottle of liquid drain opener. He poured the drain opener into the sink. Mike waited one minute, then all the water went down the drain. Dialogue 27, The Shoe Shine Danny looked at his brown shoes. They looked old and dirty. They needed a shine. It was time to shine his brown shoes. He got a rag and got a shoe brush. He got a can of polish. He opened the can of polish. He put the rag around his finger. He scooped out a bit of polish with his finger. He rubbed the polish all over the left shoe. He brushed the left shoe. He brushed it and brushed it. The shoe began to shine. 
It looked like a new shoe. Then Danny put polish on the right shoe. He brushed the right shoe until it looked like a new shoe. Dialogue 28, Eating at Restaurant Can I help you? Yes, we want three larger beers, and one hamburger with cheese but without onion. Anything else? Wait for me dot dot um. Two black coffees, and a bill, please. Okay, that's ten dollars altogether. Thank you so much, and have a nice day. The same to you. Dialogue 29, Melted Cheese Stephen was hungry. What could he eat? He looked in the refrigerator. He saw some orange cheese. He saw some yellow butter. He knew what he would eat. He would eat a melted cheese sandwich. He took the cheese and butter out of the refrigerator. He buttered two slices of bread. He sliced the cheese and put it between the two buttered slices. He heated the frying pan. He put the cheese sandwich into the frying pan. After three minutes, he flipped the sandwich over. After three more minutes, he put the melted cheese sandwich on a plate. Dialogue 30, Meeting Doctor Good morning. What's troubling you? Good morning, Doctor. I have a terrible headache. Okay. Tell me how it got started. Yesterday I had a runny nose. Now my nose is stuffed up. I have a sore throat. I feel terrible. Don't worry. Let me give you an examination. It is serious? What am I supposed to do then? A good rest is all you need, and drink more water. I'll write you a prescription. Thank you very much. Dialogue 31, Fly Away Greg took the pen out of his pants pocket. He took his keys out of his pants pocket. He took his cell phone out of his pants pocket. He took his wallet out of his pants pocket. He put everything into a plastic tray. He took his shoes off. Greg was at the airport. He had to get on the airplane. But he had to pass through security first. He passed through security. He put his pen and keys back into his pocket. He put his cell phone and wallet back into his pocket. He put his shoes back on his feet. He got on the airplane. Dialogue 32, A Thin Man Richard is a light eater. He doesn't eat much. He isn't a heavy eater. He eats a light breakfast, a light lunch, and a light dinner. Richard is not fat. He is thin. He will always be thin, because he is a light eater. He eats a bowl of cereal for breakfast. He eats a bowl of cereal with milk. He eats a sandwich for lunch. Sometimes it's a fish sandwich. He likes fish. He eats rice and vegetables for dinner. All he eats for dinner is rice and vegetables. He will never get fat. Dialogue 33, A Piece of Paper Jimmy dropped a piece of paper on the floor. He bent over and picked it up. He folded the piece of paper in two. He put it on the table. He picked up a pencil. He wrote a phone number on the piece of paper. He put the pencil on the table. He picked up the scissors. He picked up the piece of paper. He cut the paper in half. He put one half of the paper on the table. He put the other half with the phone number in his shirt pocket. He put the scissors on the table. Dialogue 34, Introducing a Friend Robert, this is my friend, Mrs. Smith. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Mrs. Smith, what do you do for work? I'm a doctor. Oh. Where do you work? 
New York University Hospital and New York City. What do you do? I'm a teacher. What do you teach? I teach English. Where? At a high school in New Jersey. That's nice. How old are you? I'm 32. Dialogue 35. Buy a new car. Daisy wants to buy a new car. She has an old car which is a white Honda. Daisy wants to buy a new Honda. She wants to buy a new red Honda car. She has saved $1,000. She will use $1,000 to help buy the new car. She will give $1,000 to the Honda dealer. The Honda dealer will give her a contract to sign. The contract will require her to pay $400 a month for 7 years. Her new red Honda will cost Linda a lot of money. But that's okay, because Linda makes a lot of money. Dialogue 36. Water and an apple. Susan likes to eat apples. She likes to eat big red apples. She likes to wear a blue hat. She wears a big blue hat on her head. She wears a hat and eats an apple. She drinks some water from a white cup. Susan drinks water and eats apples. She doesn't cut the apple with a knife. A knife is sharp. She just eats the apple. She holds the apple in her hand. She bites into the apple with her teeth. She licks her lips. She drinks more water. She wipes her mouth with her hand. Dialogue 37, Cold Weather Thomas was not either hot or warm. He was cold. The weather was neither hot or warm. The weather was cold. Thomas did not like to be cold. He looked for his jacket. He found his jacket. He put on his jacket. But he was still cold. He looked at the windows. They were all closed. None of the windows were open. He looked at the door. The door was closed. He was still cold. He looked for a warmer jacket. Dialogue 38, In Love Donna loved her husband. Her husband loved Donna. They were in love with each other. She wanted to give him a birthday present. He was going to be 40 years old next week. She wondered what to give him. Should she give him a watch? Should she give him a sweater? Should she give him a new guitar? What should she give him? She asked him what he wanted for his birthday. He said he didn't want anything for his birthday. Oh, you must want something. She said. You're right, he said. I want your love forever. Dialogue 39, A Storm Emma looked out the window. A storm was coming. The sky was getting darker. The wind was starting to blow. Some trees were bending. Leaves were flying through the air. It was getting cold. She closed all the windows. She went outside. Her car was in the street. She closed the windows in her car. She locked her car. She went back into her house. She turned on the TV. She wanted to see the news about the storm. The TV person said it was a big storm. He said it would rain a lot. He told people to stay home. Dialogue 40, New Shoes Lisa loves to go shopping. Tomorrow she is going shopping. She needs a new pair of shoes. She wants to buy a pair of red shoes. She thinks red shoes are pretty. She will buy a pair of shoes at the mall. Lisa usually shops at the mall. The mall is only a mile from her house. She just walks to the mall. It only takes her 20 minutes. Tomorrow she will go to four different shoe stores. Tomorrow is Saturday. The mall always has sales on Saturday. If the sale price is good, Lisa might buy two pairs of shoes. Dialogue 40, New Shoes 
Lisa loves to go shopping. Tomorrow she is going shopping. She needs a new pair of shoes. She wants to buy a pair of red shoes. She thinks red shoes are pretty. She will buy a pair of shoes at the mall. Lisa usually shops at the mall. The mall is only a mile from her house. She just walks to the mall. It only takes her 20 minutes. Tomorrow she will go to four different shoe stores. Tomorrow is Saturday. The mall always has sales on Saturday. If the sale price is good, Lisa might buy two pairs of shoes. Dialogue 42, Work It was time for bed. Edward was very tired. He turned off the TV. He turned off his computer. He turned off the dining room light. He went into the bathroom. He brushed his teeth. He went into the bedroom. He put on his pajamas. He got into bed. He put his head on the pillow. He pulled the blanket up to his shoulders. He thought about all the work he had done the day. He thought about all the work he had to do the next day. He closed his eyes. He thought about his vacation in three months. That would be so nice. Dialogue 43, Write a Letter Christopher wrote a letter to his sister. His sister lived in another city. His sister did not have a computer. Neither did he. His sister didn't like to use the phone. Neither did he. He wrote his sister a long letter. He told her the news in his life. He told her that he had a new job. He told her that he had a new girlfriend. He told her that he had a new car. He had lots of news for his sister. She would be happy to read his letter. Then she would send him a letter. Her letter would have lots of news, too. Dialogue 44, Start the Car Bob pushed the button on the door handle. He pulled on the door handle. He opened the car door. He got into the car. He sat down. He sat down in the driver's seat. He sat down behind the steering wheel. Bob put the seat belt on. He buckled the seat belt. The seat belt went across his chest. The seat belt went across his lap. The seat belt kept him safe. He put his car key into the ignition. The ignition was next to the steering wheel. The ignition starts a car. Bob turned the car key in the ignition. The car started. Dialogue 45, Go to Work Patricia did not have much time. It was time to go to work. She did not want to be late for work. She would lose her job if she was late. She finished her coffee. She drank the last drop. She put the coffee cup in the kitchen sink. She turned on the kitchen faucet. She poured water into the cup. She turned off the faucet. She picked up her keys. The keys were on the kitchen table. She grabbed her gray coat. Her gray coat was on the chair. The chair was next to the door. She walked outside. She locked her door with her house key. Dialogue 46, Fresh Fish Mike was ready for bed. It was 11 o'clock. He had to get up early the next day. The next day he was going fishing. Fish wake up early. They look for food early in the day. They look for food late in the day. The best time to fish is early or late in the day. That is when the fish are hungry. Mike set his alarm. He set his alarm for 5 o'clock. The next day he would start fishing at 6 o'clock. He wanted to catch 4 or 5 fish. If he caught 4 or 5 fish, he could eat fresh fish all week. Fresh fish is the best fish. Mike went to bed. What kind of things do you do in your free time? I'm really into watching foreign films. What about you? I like to do just about anything outdoors. Do you enjoy camping? Camping for an evening is okay, but I couldn't do it for much longer than one night. 
Have you ever been camping in the lot? No, but I've always wanted to do that. I've heard it's a beautiful place to go. It's fantastic. My family and I are very fond of the place. Do you have any photos of any of your campaign trips there? That'd be great. Dialogue 48, Rain Rain is a major component of the water cycle and is responsible for depositing most of the fresh water on the earth. Rain provides suitable conditions for many types of ecosystems as well as water for hydroelectric power plants and crop irrigation. The major cause of rain production is moisture moving along three-dimensional zones of temperature and moisture contrasts known as weather fronts. Rain is also known or suspected on other planets, where it may be composed of methane, neon, sulfuric acid, or even iron rather than water. Dialogue 49, Life is Good I am happy because I have many friends. I have a large family. I have four brothers and four sisters. I am in the middle. Four brothers are older than me. Four sisters are younger than me. I go to school. I am in the sixth grade. I like my teachers. My teachers like me. I have friends in every class. My favorite class is history. I like to read about history. History is a story about our past. Soon we will all be history. Then kids in school will read about us. I hope they like our stories. My best friend is Bobby. Bobby and I do many things together. We swim together. We play basketball together. We ride our bikes together. I have many other friends. We all go to the mall on weekends. We go to movies. We go to restaurants. We tell jokes. We laugh. We have fun. Life is great.